Hey folks, JD here, and I've been asked a question. Alright, so we're going to take this guy back up one last time, and we're going to try him out on the voice commands. So essentially what I'm going to do today is take him up using my iOS device, and also giving him a try and seeing if he works on Android as well. Now we have got a little bit of a breeze coming in here, in here today, at about 7 miles an hour. So what I'm going to do is take this guy up, put him into speed mode 3, and then we're going to have a little look and see how that voice command works, if I can get picked up on the microphone. So with that, let's take her up. Okay, so now with this being on, let's... Oh, it's automatically connected. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so then, there we are, we're, we're done there. So let's open up JYUFO. And now we should have... Yeah, we do. Okay, perfect. We have video relay. Now it's from this point that we're going to be taking her up. So to begin with, let's just set her up. Let's turn on the analog sticks. Let's turn her up to speed mode. Uh, to speed mode 3, that's 100% and then we're going to take her off using the automatic take off, take off button here. Then we're going to be trying some voice commands. When you hit the voice commands button, voice commands do scroll across the top here, so you are going to have to pay quite close attention when you are flying this and you want to do the voice commands to understand exactly what they say. Because when I checked last night, it was very difficult to see. I think the commands are forwards, backwards, left and right, but I'll double check that before we actually, we actually uh, initialize them. So with that, Let's take her up. Okay, so we have a pretty stable holding in there. So with this now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to initialize the voice commands. So with this, forwards, yeah, backwards, right. <laughs> I'm going to take over for a second. Oh, that is fun. Now, when you do click the button, the microphone stays on. So what I'm going to do for the second is just bring her back to me. And then, once she's stabilized, Take her up a little bit, and then, again, forward, backward, right, and she knows exactly which way to go. Ha! So it is as easy as that. Okay, that was with iOS. Let's try it with Android. Okay, so with this now, what I've done is I've turned off the Wi-Fi on my iPhone. Uh, totally, actually, I put my iPhone in airplane mode just in case I don't want any signals interfering with this or my iPhone connecting to it or anything that could cause any issue. Now, right. I'm... Okay, perfect. So with this, let's click play, and once again, we're going to turn on altitude hold. We're going to turn on. Ah, look at that. Now that is interesting. Now this is the same app as what you get on iOS, but on Android, there is no microphone. Now the microphone should appear in the middle here, but there isn't any, so it's, I don't think it's actually out for the app, in which case it's not going to work. Right, that's interesting. Um, now let's see if there's any other options in here at all. The other options we get are just standard if you want to fly in VR mode, or if you want to calibrate the compass but you don't get any microphone app with Android. Okay, well there we are, at least we know. Right, so with that then, I think Android is pretty much a bust if you wanted to do that. The only way you are going to be able to do that is by using iOS. Okay, well, what have we learned? So we learned that on iOS you can use voice audio to, oh sorry, voice commands to control this guy and he is controlled pretty well. You've got to keep your finger on that, on near to that, that little controller though, just because he will move, <laughs> uh, as you saw today. So just to, now, now and again, just bring him back in line and then set him off again. But they do work on iOS. If you change over to the Android ecosystem, then unfortunately it isn't going to work using that same JYUFO app. Um, now I'm going to double check just to make sure there isn't another app out for this particular quadcopter when it comes to uh, Android. Uh, if there isn't though it is a bit of a shame that it can't be using Android but that's the problem but I suppose it's a lot easier to develop an app for a particular phone or a particular microphone system rather than the couple of thousand which are out for uh, on different Android devices. Uh, so there we are folks I hope this has answered your question. Alex thanks ever so much for watching and listening folks I've been JD you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.